the way through to the weekend. Already quite windy today, plenty of isobars across the country. But we need to look out to the west to this development that's brewing up in the Atlantic. If we run through the sequence, you can see that moving in quite quickly towards Scotland and Northern Ireland during tonight and into tomorrow. Even more isobars around by then, so that means even stronger winds, possibly some severe gales, particularly for northern areas. And it's not just the gales that we're worried about. Also, the heavy rain moving in across these northern parts. It has already been a pretty wet start to the month, of course. We could see a couple of inches, 50 millimetres of rain, again, over the Scottish mountains, perhaps into northwest England, nearer an inch for North Wales. And that means there is certainly a risk of some localised flooding. Only half a story, though. The strong winds, the other half of it, perhaps severe gales for uh, Northern Ireland and across southern Scotland, particularly later on in the day. But then throughout the rest of the week, we can expect to see further strong winds from time to time, pulling in from the north occasionally. So we're going to see some colder weather, snow over many northern mountains, stronger winds edging southwards for a time, and then perhaps just the signs of something a little bit more settled or a bit quieter in terms of wind strength, at least, through the latter part of the weekend. We're not the only part of Europe, though, to be seeing that wet and windy weather. Northern Germany picking up nearly half a month's worth of rain during the course of the night. Further south, though, that rain falling as snow across many parts of the Alps. So not a bad early start to the ski season here. Fairly settled across southern Europe at the moment underneath this area of high pressure. But as that stormy weather moves down out of the British Isles, we're going to see some snow developing yet again across the Alps. That low then moving on and eventually taking its showers into the eastern Mediterranean. But during Friday, a fair amount of sunshine to be found across that part of the eastern med. Still plenty of showers for ourselves, though, through the rest of today. We're seeing those showers banding together now across the uh, west country. Could see an odd rumble or two of thunder here. So far, eastern parts have managed to escape many of the showers, eastern Scotland, northeast England, down to East Anglia. But they'll move in here, I think, during the course of the afternoon. Heavy showers falling as snow in many places from Northern Ireland through into uh, Scotland. Cold across these areas, too, in that strong wind. Temperatures only about 5 to 7 degrees. But then through tonight, we start to see the winds picking up again ahead of this next system. That heavy rain already into northwestern parts by dawn tomorrow, moving on across all areas, I think, during the second half of the day. Ahead of that, one or two spots in the east, perhaps dipping to around 2 degrees. So a very wet day across more northern parts. That rain working its way southwards during the day. Still pretty unsettled with snow in the north on Thursday. Bye-bye.